This one is called Satan Guinea Pig Very Scary Creepy Past. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect either. Hello, people reading this. I'm very terrified because I was attacked today by a guinea pig who was very scary. He is albino freck who ate my nose. He is faggot because he ate my nose. Okay, on to the store. Today, I was at home playing my Game Boy and I heard the glass breaking in the bathroom. When I went to investigate the restroom because I am a detective, I found out that the guinea pig broke the window. I knew this because there was hair and shit in the restroom like somebody was in there. I decided I was scared because I don't know what was going on and went to go get my shotgun and decided to shoot him when I find him. I searched the entire house and saw his bloodstains in the hallway, so I decided to I need to investigate the hallway. When I go to check the hallway, I find my little sister's nose on the ground. When I look up, I see their guinea pig in the basket and he gotted me in the leg with his guns. I hit the ground and the guinea pig came up and ate my nose and then I died. That's it. Now, notice how I didn't critique anything really. That's because this was genius. I mean, who expected the guinea pig to get his sister's nose? And how was he even writing the story if he was dead the whole time? The story has so many layers of complexity and just gives you something to, to think about, to grasp. And that's why I give it best story ever Oscar pasta award of 2020.